Hello, I'm going to fly the T28P today. They still sell it. The aftermarket parts are pretty high priced. Uh, I'm in eastern Tennessee today on December 19th, 2016. Waiting for the fog to lift, but at least it's not windy. I put an air vent in the front of these canopies. You can see a little screen in there to keep the bugs out, too. Under here, I put a little... Uh, Deflector made out of tin foil. Deflect the air up and around. Hopefully, help cool the battery off and the servos and the motor. Uh, it's got a 370 motor up there. It stays pretty cool, but this tail motor, as I say, it overheats, and uh, so it's trying to push that carbon fiber shaft back here and all these gear apparatus, this primary gear, on the end of that tail as a secondary gear and shaft. Nevertheless, it overheats and starts to vibrate and that quirky. They just put two weeks of motor in there, and there's been issues. I've read the threads. I've got a direct drive model I'm going to fly after I fly this one. Uh, I use the Super B CP3 parts back here, and it works real well. Now, on this one, I went ahead and used the uh, V912 vertical stabilizer. You can see because it doesn't break, it's just so tough. It'll save you gears back here. The ones that come with this snap all the time, and I chip blades and break gears. The shaft will never break, as the bearing will never wear out in there. But, uh, this bearing here. But, uh, these parts are interchangeable, see? I don't know why they don't just sell us the keyed gears that go on the end, and the keyed little dry fittings that go on the end, see? The shaft will last forever. I mean, it's tight. Uh, it came with this aluminum rotor head. You can't find the parts anymore, so that's the issue. I just took it off and replaced it all with plastic. There's 9 or 11 parts there. It's pretty, but if you can't replace the parts, there's no sense busting it all up. <coughs> A lot of people have complained, and I've read threads about how this has fly bar strikes. Well, I stopped mine just through the simple process of cutting a quarter-inch fuel line about two millimeters thick, installing it between the anti-rotation collars you can see here and the fly bar. And it works real well, just about in any helicopter. You have to get the diameter fuel line that fits around that shaft. And the same fuel line works on, this is 316 fuel line, the skids here, as you can see. Real good grippers, just about in any helicopter. If you break a skid, you just take some dental floss and some uh, poly, that uh, epoxy resin, you know, super glue the dental floss around the fracture and then epoxy resin around the floss and you've got a nice uh, fix right there depending where it breaks. Uh, it's a little bit sensitive to fly one of these so I have to get used to the controls. I've crashed these a lot. But nevertheless, I'm going to go ahead and give you a test flight today on it and see how it goes. Well, not really a test flight. I've flown these. I've got five of them. And that's why I, no matter what I do, they seem to be kind of quirky back here. That tail motor overheats and causes erraticness in this tail assembly back here. And they charge a lot for that shaft and tail drive system. So I'm going to convert a couple of mine to that Super B CP3 tail mod there. And I'm going to fly that for you after I fly this one. So let me go ahead and give this a flight here. Move the transmitter away. Turn it on then by these with the JST here. Alright, got it. Also, I put thicker wires, as you can see back here. Hoping to, uh, you know, better performance on the till motor, but I don't know if that's working or not. It was really hard soldering these into the those tiny little fittings down there up front. I've done it to three of them. I think it helps a little bit, the bigger wire, larger gauge, I don't know for sure. I'm just trying different things. Alright, it's a little bit breezy out here. Set my timer. I'll do a three minute, thirty minute, three minute, thirty second flight for you. High mode. Gotta go easy with these. 
hear that buzzing already in that tail motor. It's usually doing a left turn with these, but I crash. The gyroscopic procession and the translational lift and all that, with that short little fly bar up there. I think this throws it that way. Uh, got a free beard trim today. Good to apply aileron and then rotor to turn. I find it to make it much more smoother of a transition. And you can tighten it up with the aileron too. Bring it right around. But watch out with these. They spin right out of the air for some reason. Not as stable as the V912. I've crashed this ten times more than I have one of those. using the same techniques hear that quirkiness of that tail motor it's too weak, they should have put an N60 back there and they advertise it as a coilless motor, believe it or not, in the instruction manual it's not coilless, it's a typical brushed motor the N50, same as on the V912 same motor with a diode, that's all But they do fly pretty good when they're flying, right? And it doesn't take long in the summertime for that tail motor to get steam and hot. I mean, it'll scorch your finger just to touch it after a three minute flight. And I got five of these, I know. Why I bought five of these, I don't know. See? How does this happen? Look at that. Look at that. See that? That was pretty hard hit. You just can't recover. There's no left turn, you notice? I tried turning into it. Whatever. Whenever you get an accident, disconnect power. And shut it off. I broke the canopy for sure on that. Minimum. But battery always gets thrown out. Servo's not broken. Fly bar got bent, so you have to straighten that back out. Okay? If you're going to fly again, I'm not going to fly this again today. Um, the skid came off. I don't know if it's broken or not, I don't even see it. So it's very important to check things. See the linkages are on there, but sometimes these little balls pop off. These little linkages pop off the ball there, and they crash like that. Other than that, she'll be all right. All righty, so that's what happens. Uh, all of a sudden, it just it can go out of control. The slightest little wrong input or whatever. But thanks for watching. Hope we're all learning together.